You can be the best business in the world, but that doesn't mean you don't have weaknesses. In fact, every business has weaknesses. The key is to identify them and then work on fixing them. This video will show you how to identify business weaknesses so that you can start improving your company today. In any business, there are bound to be weaknesses. After all, no company is perfect. However, identifying these weaknesses is critical to the health and success of your business. If you don't know where your weaknesses lie, you can't hope to fix them. So how can you go about identifying business weaknesses? One way is to simply ask your employees. Chances are, they have a pretty good idea of where the company could use some improvement. You could also survey your customers and see what they have to say. Another option is to take a close look at your financials. This can give you a good indication of areas where the company might be falling behind. There are many different types of business weaknesses, but they can broadly be classified into four main categories. Financial, operational, managerial, and competitive. Let's take a closer at each of these. Financial weaknesses are typically related to the company's ability to generate revenue and profit. This could be due to high costs, low prices, or poor financial management. Operational weaknesses can hamper a company's ability to produce goods or services efficiently. This could be due to inefficient processes, outdated technology, or lack of skilled workers. Managerial weaknesses can negatively impact a company's ability to make sound decisions and execute on strategy. This could be due to poor communication, lack of accountability, or poor leadership. Competitive weaknesses are those that put a company at a disadvantage relative to its competitors. This could be due to inferior products, weak branding, or lack of market share. No business is perfect, and every company has its own set of weaknesses. Some businesses are great at marketing, but terrible at customer service, while others excel at product development, but struggle with sales. The first step to addressing your business weakness is to identify them. Take a close look at your operations and compare them to your competitors. Are you losing customers because your prices are too high? Is your website hard to navigate? Do you have a high employee turnover rate? Once you know what your weaknesses are, you can start taking steps to improve them. If you are losing customers because of poor customer service, for example, you can invest in training for your employees. If your website is hard to navigate, you can hire a web designer to make it more user-friendly. And if you have a high employee turnover rate, you can offer more attractive benefits and perks to keep your employees happy. By identifying your weaknesses and taking steps to improve them, you'll be able to better serve your customers and grow your business.